Greetings and welcome to today's lesson. In today's lesson, we are continuing uh, forward with our spelling words. Now, we have already folded our paper. Uh, you should hopefully already have it folded. You can't hardly see mine when it's unfolded, but you can see there, there's a fold. All right, let's go ahead and jump into our first word. And the first word is populate, right? So to populate something like when you have animals and they have babies and then more babies and then more babies, they are, they are beginning to populate um, the area, right? So populate, base word populate. Pop, you, late. P, a, p, u, l, a, oops, l, a, t, e. Populate. Okay, let's go and write that. Pop, you, late. Markings. P, a, p, u, once. Rule four. L, a, once. T, once, e, once. Populate, right? So if you have chickens, they will eventually populate their coop. They'll just keep having babies and, until it's all, you have a full coop, right? Uh, we see this especially in the wild, right? Uh, prey dogs will have many children until you have a huge, uh, until they populate the whole area. Now, once they populate, once you have a number of them, that makes their population, right? So the population is how many animals populate an area. So population is the next word. Population, base word, populate, ending on. All right, populate, change the T to a T-I and add on to make the word population. Syllables, pop, you, lay, shawn. Okay, let's do that again. Pop, you, lay, shawn. Pop, you, lay, sh, a, n. Okay, go ahead and write it. Population. Pop. You. Lay. Sean. All right, and we have a couple rules here, and this word's so long, we'll do the rules right below it. Okay, let's do our markings. Pop. You once. Rule four. Rule A once. Rule four, but we won't write it again. Shh. Once. Rule 14, uh, mm, population, okay, here, so I'm using a T-I, and I'm using a T-I because I changed this T to an I and added O-N. The E just goes away, okay? All right, next word is the word judge, all right? So you have two judge here. You, one is judge, like a verb, like don't judge me. Don't, don't, don't act like you think you know what the right thing is to do. Don't judge me. Or you can think of the person who does judging, and that person is a judge, right? So uh, when you go to court, you will stand before a judge, right? Judge, base word judge, j, uh, j. We use our three-letter j. We can do that because this u is a single vowel, and it's saying its first sound, okay? So judge, j, uh, j, judge. Markings, j, uh, j. Once, rule 23, right? And rule 23, the J, three-letter J, can only be used after a single vowel that says its first sound. All right, the next word is weather, right? Um, so the next word is weather, like, um, let's do the weather first, like, the weather outside is nice. Weather, base word, weather. Wa, e, v, er. Weather, using an E-A-A, -A, a V, and an er of her, okay? Weather, wa, e, v, er, okay? Markings, wa, e, once, two, v, once, two, er, once, weather, right? And this weather again is, um, what is the weather like outside, right? Now the next one is whether, like whether we're gonna go shopping or to the movies, right? And it kind of means like which one or the other, right? Would you whether um, eat ice cream or have a candy bar, okay? Whether, right? Whether, base word, whether. E, z, er. Okay, so here I got my single vowel that says e, and then er of her, okay? Weather. We, 
F-E-R. Weather markings. Once. F-V. Once. Oops, and I messed up both of these. Two. Both of these. Erase both those ers. Because they should be separate, so separate syllables. Sorry about that. Because it's wev er. Wev er. Okay? There we go. All right, and I don't have a, a tricky clue to help you, um, but just remember that this one, the e at, the EA one, is the one that talks about like what's the weather outside. Okay, let's brace those. All right, the next one is worth. Like how much is something worth? Worth. Base word worth. Wa er worth. All right? And so again here <coughs> we have this this O R, but it's following a W, so it says er. Okay, worth. Wa er worth. Markings. Wa er once. Rule. Eight worth, right? <clears throat> and so this O R can say er because it's following a W. Next word is contain. Like you want to contain something, you want to hold something back, right? So if you have animals and you don't want them just to run everywhere, you have to build a fence to contain them, right? Contain. Base word contain. Con tain. K a n t a n. Contain. We're gonna use the a not used, right? Con, k, a, n, tain, t, a, n. Markings. K, a, n, t, a, once, n. Contain. All right. The next word is figure. All right. So figure can be a couple things. Figure can be like I need to figure this problem out. I need to use my mind to figure it out. Or figure can represent a number, right? So if someone wants to get a new job and they want to make a certain amount of money, they say, Man, like, what figure might I make? How much money, right? So it refers to a number. Figure, base word, figure. Fig, ewer. I, g, u, r, e. Figure. Anyone write it? Fig, ewer. Markings. I, g, u, once, r, once, e, once. Figure. Uh, actually, another way it can be think of is like your body type, all right? Um, so the figure is your body, all right? Or you think of like a mannequin, it's a figure, okay? So a couple different ways we can use that word. All right, the next word is sudden. Sudden means like instantly, right? So you're driving down the road and then something comes out in front of you and all of a sudden that you slam on your brakes, okay? Sudden, sudden, base word sudden. Sud, den, s, uh, duh. D e n sudden. You can write it. Sud den markings. S a uh, d rule twenty nine. Rule twenty nine here is we double the d because I need this to be a d here. Otherwise, it'd be sudden. I don't want it to be sudden, so I need it to be sud sudden. Okay. So s a uh, d rule twenty nine. D e n sudden. I think one more word, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, one more word. And the next word is instead, right? So like, instead of doing something else, I want to do this, okay? Now, um, we can think of instead as a compound word from stead, meaning like a place, right? So this is the place that I want to be. This is the decision I want to hold. And then when we add instead, it means not that position, right? So I don't want to go to the movies. Instead, I want to go um, out to eat, right? So the position or the place or the idea would be movies. I don't want that place or position. So I'm going to go instead to somewhere else, okay? So instead, base word, um, sorry, prefix in, base word stead. I write in, add stead to make the word instead okay and actually base word sorry base word in base word stead so i write in add stead to make the compound word 
instead. Instead. I, n, s, t, e, d, instead. Okay, we're using an e, a, a phonogram here. In, stead. Markings, I, n, s, t, e, once, two, d, instead. All right, that is all of our words for today. I hope you have a terrific day. Good luck on your independent work, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.